Hey guys, welcome to Ace Designs 107. I'm the Ace in the Car Pack and you're the Kings and Queens. I have a really cool tutorial for you guys that involves using Cinema 4D and I really do think that you guys will enjoy it. Now, the effect that we'll be making today is on the left hand side of the screen and it's pretty cool. Um, you can see my face cam currently. I haven't done this much before, so yeah. I don't look my best, I just came back from school, so I'm not in my prime time. Anyway guys, so um, the difficulty for this tutorial will be around 2 stars out of 5. You won't need any prior knowledge to make this um, effect, it's really cool and it's really simple. Also, it will take around 5 minutes um, after you learn this tutorial. You will only need to watch this tutorial about once or twice to be able to do this effect for the rest of your life it's really not that much steps involved around two to five steps um yeah it's really simple it's really easy and i really do hope that you enjoy the tutorial now we, we if we do get 45 likes for this video i will be making this into a banner tutorial so let me know in the description below and in the description below in the comments below saying that you really enjoyed this tutorial so i can make a banner tutorial using this effect and yeah i hope that you do enjoy the video let's get straight into it without further ado okay so the first step for the tutorial is to open up cinema 40 and what you're going to do is go down to the description below and you're going to go and download a lightroom and with that lightroom you'll be able to make this really cool tutorial and you can also make plenty of different other effects this Lightroom was made by a Spanish guy, I don't know his name, but yeah, let's hope that we can do this Lightroom some justice. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to bring in our logo into the scene. So we're going to go to File, Merge, and I'm going to be using the Phase one. If you would like to use the Phase logo or this Adobe Illustrator file, all you have to do is go down to this... The, the description below and it will say logo download and you click there and you can download this file now if you would like to make your own logo into an adobe illustrator file make sure you go check out my other tutorial that will be on screen now okay so we're going to bring that in with a scale of one now we're going to zoom out a little bit and the first thing that i'm going to do is start centering this logo so i'm going to first of all bring it down 90 degrees and you can go down to the rotation and do negative 90 and you can hit apply on that one and the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to move it across like this and a little bit down okay now i've got something pretty good going on and yeah so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to apply an extrude nerves so we're going to hold alt on our keyboard and pop up the extrude and under this one, we're going to do a movement of 90. Let's say like this. Okay, that's not what I want. 90. And I'm just going to bring this up. Okay, sweet. So now I'm going to just simply rotate. Actually, I'll leave it like this. Okay. So then we're going to go to the extrudes and then go under the cap tab and then start fill it and then the end of fill it. And we're going to do a radius of 2 and 2. Okay, sweet. Now I've got something pretty cool going on. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and create a new material. And we're going to right click on this material and go to edit. And under this material, we're going to add in a texture. Now the texture is going to be our background picture that we want to use for the effect. So if you have a particular picture that you would like to use, make sure you go use that one. For this tutorial, I'll be using a Simpson Desert photo. So yeah, it's a pretty cool photo. And because I, I live in Australia, I thought I might add some little zang to this effect. Okay, so once that is added onto the texture, you can close this one and you are going to make a background. Under the background, you're going to simply drag on the picture and bam, you can render this out and look what we have here. We have something pretty good. It, the lighting makes a really good effect and obviously in this picture you, you'll see a little watermark of the Australian Geo Geographic. That's fine. But for now we're just going to continue to make this effect. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to position this logo somewhere that we'll like it where it would be on the picture. So I'm going to select the extrude. 
something like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So once we've done that, we're going to bring in our plane into our document. And with this plane, we are going to go to the view here and we're going to make sure that it is a behind arm um, like here. So basically the logo goes through the plane a little bit, but not all the way. So let's do it like that. Okay. So then with this, we're going to just simply drag this plane all the way over here. Okay. So then we all we have to do is scale this plane up. And if we render this one, you can see that you, the little shadow comes from the plane. That's perfect. Okay, so then all we have to do is grab the texture that's on our background and drag it onto our plane. And if we render this one, we get something like this. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can see that it has the little things here. But obviously it's a bit too bright here. You can't really see the shadows because of the lighting in the scene. So what I like to do is go down to here and I'm going to go and add in, um, take away some of these lights from the scenes. So what I like to do is edit the top lights. And with this particular photo, this will be needed to be done just to take away that brightness. Um, I'm not too sure if you're using another photo and you don't need to do this, but you know, for this one, I would like to take those away. So I'm going to do those and see like this. Going to render it and see how it's not as strong anymore. And we can actually make out what the sand looks like a bit. Okay, guys. So once you have taken off those lights, that is basically it. That's all you have to do to add in a picture. Um, it's really easy and you can do this with any picture gratefully. So let's just say I would like to use a city picture. So I'm going to go and type in city background. And that's not how you spell background. It's with an N and maybe, um, destroyed city background. And you can use this with like this types of pictures. So let's just say this one, you can have the logo coming from the ground and you can do some really cool displacement um, textures. So it's really versatile. And let me know guys, if you'd like to me to make this into a full banner tutorial. So this currently is just a tutorial on how to make a logo onto something like this with the shading and make it look a part of the scene. But if you would like me to make a full on pledge tutorial showing you guys how to make a banner with a logo that is on a background, let me know in the comments below. And another great way to let me know if you enjoyed the tutorial is to hit that like button. Let's see that if we can reach 45 likes. I've been asking for 50 likes recently, but let's see if we can hit 45 likes. And if we do get 45 likes, I'll release that tutorial. Now guys, I will be releasing more regular videos because I really want to make something out of this opportunity that I've been given by you guys. So have a great day. And I really do hope that you guys have the best luck with the future to come. Have a great day guys and peace. Thank <laughs> you.